Welcome back to the Dallas Cowboys Star Report. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it's Thursday, August 18th, 2011. Today we're talking about the dramatic win over the Denver Broncos in the first week of the preseason. And the San Diego Chargers come to town as they leave the beautiful confines of San Diego and head to the deep, hot south. Caliente. We also have David Moore, reporter for the Dallas Morning News, talking about the wide receiver and running back situation. All of that coming up in a moment. <laughs> First, we want to start you on last Thursday night in a dramatic, dramatic game. Coming from behind victory where third-string quarterback Stephen McGee led the Cowboys on a game-winning touchdown and two-point conversion try. What did we learn about the Dallas Cowboys, Jeffrey, is that Jason Garrett knows you don't go into overtime in the preseason. No, he. I actually have it on good note that uh, – that Bill Parcells? No, 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 no. No, the, the new new Denver oh. Broncos head coach, <laughs> John, John Fox, Fox yes. actually called him from the sideline and said, "Hey, coach, hey, coach, just between you and I, let's make sure this baby don't go to overtime. <laughs> My guys are coming out pretty good. Your guys coming out pretty good. Let's be good." Yeah, we don't want to play a whole nother quarter if we don't have to. And so you are right, Jeffrey. John Guys Fox. get banged up enough in training camp. I, I you don't, don't need think, to risk it. I don't think John Fox called him. <laughs> I thought it was funny you mentioned Bill Parcells because he actually took that he game did. to overtime he, he, a couple he, years that's ago. Right. That's why I thought you were On going. On purpose. He did. Uh, but the San Diego Chargers are now in town. That's the Cowboys' next opponent in their second preseason game. The Chargers, 72, beautiful weather in San Diego. And now all of a sudden, boom. The heat of fire. It is hell's fire. It is 72 degrees every day in San Diego. It's remarkable. But now what they've done, and ironically, Stephen, they have moved it outdoors for the first time. <laughs> they've gone from Cowboys Stadium and working out in Arlington also in to now that. moving outside and playing on real grass. And that seems to coincide with when the Chargers come to town. <laughs> We're going to keep it nice and cool, but now that the Chargers are here, let's get we'll out. We'll step outside now. Something you might see uh, in the future, too, is Chargers-Cowboys practicing together during the preseason. Um, it, it's good stuff, and I can't wait for that game because I think we're going to see starters go a little bit deeper in the first Well, place. it's Sunday night football, Stephen, and that is always a good one on NBC here in America, and you've got that to look forward to. It should be terrific. All right, right now we have David Moore. He's a reporter for the Dallas Morning News covering the Dallas Cowboys. David, thank you for coming on the show. I want to ask you um, about the wide receiver situation. We've got Miles Austin. We've got Des, Br Des Bryant. Then after that, we're not really sure. What do you think uh, about the rookie uh, Raymond Radway and Dwayne Harris? Miles Austin wasn't able to practice today against San Diego because of a tied hamstring. Kevin Ogletree is the third receiver at the moment. Uh, I would say he has not seized the opportunity yet. Uh, he's been pretty good. Uh, we're playing really well early in camp, and, and a little bit of inconsistency has crept in here lately. He has 10 receptions in his NFL career. Manny Johnson has one reception in his NFL career, and no one else on the roster who's competing for the third wide receiver spot has ever caught a ball in a regular season game. So inexperience is, is an issue for them going forward. At the moment, Kevin Ogletree has the position. Uh, Dwayne Harris, their pick out of East Carolina, had an outstanding preseason game against Denver, and he's in the running as well. I, I, would, I would say it would be one of those two guys. You know, David, if you have another second, I would really like to find out about the battle for the running back spot. Owner Jerry Jones has gone on the record and said that he is only going to carry three running backs. And with Felix Jones and the rookie DeMarco Murray seeming to have locked up those number one and two spot, who do you see as winning out between Tashar Choice and Lonnie Miller? Well, Lonnie Miller looked really good early in practice and started going, hey, maybe there's a decision here. He had nine carries for 11 yards in the first preseason game. So you hear all the time, but a lot of times you hear how players do something in a game, but the coaches have to see it on the practice field. Well, Lanya is going to have to carry over what he's doing on the practice field into one of these preseason games. Uh, so right now, you still have to give the, the nod to choice, I believe, because of his experience, because you know he can handle it, and because of the injury situations you've had in the past with Felix Jones and, and DeMarco Murray, who hasn't even stepped on the field yet. This race is not settled yet. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. All right, Dave. Thank you very much, David. We really appreciate it. Uh, David Moore from the Dallas Morning News covering the Dallas Cowboys. We hope to hear from David uh, throughout the season. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis. For your Dallas Cowboys Star Report.